how to get dirty sometime. <laughs> John, we thought we too would like to celebrate your birthday in verse. In verse with a nautical flavour. Right. The trouble we faced is our bardic talents didn't extend to composing something for the occasion. So we had to look to the work of others. And the first place we looked, surprise, surprise, was to see Fever from John yes. <laughs> But we did think somebody else might choose it and how right we were. So then we thought, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, yeah. the ancient mariner, yeah. the rhyme of the ancient mariner. That's of the ancient. We dismissed it, uh, partly because it's very long, <laughs> but also we did think perhaps you would not appreciate us assuming that you were already ancient. Uh, so sorry. We were, we were at that point, we were stumped. Young at heart. We were stumped. We didn't know what we were going to do. Then, of course, and you will know this is going to be true, who gets us out of a muck? My darling wife finds the answer. She finds three verses with an nautical flavour in a format which can be passed on to you as a memento of the occasion. But what about these three verses? Are they part of a larger poem or are they the whole of it? We don't know. What is the title of the poem? We don't know. Who wrote the poem? We don't know. All we do know, fairly certainly, it dates from the middle of the 19th century. Three verses there are. The first two tell of the courage and I think the fears of those who go to sea. The third verse tells the concerns of the loved one left on the shore while the sailor is far away at sea. Your three verses, John. The man came to sail with the blast of the gale through billows Atlantic to steer as he bends all the way which may soon be his grave remembers his hose with a tear. When riding o'er the mountain wave the hardy sailor ever brave he laughs at danger, smiles at fate and risks his life to save his mate. My lad is far upon the sea, his absence makes me mourn. The bark that bears him far from me, I hope will safe return. And from his earnings I'll save up, if lucky he should be. And then when all with me shall stop, and go no more to sea. <laughs> yeah.